last year right, there will be quite heartened to have uh, reached out to 75,000 beneficiaries you know, between January to December. And really, that presents an increase despite the pandemic. And, a large, and, and I would attribute this largely to some of the changes or transmission we made in terms of expanding our satellite centres in the last two years. Now we've got five serving our 13 MQ towns. We've also given out more than 7,000 Anugrah Mendaki Awards to students through the scholarship bursaries and the Education Trust Fund assistance are worth more than $1.9 million. But I can also move on to MTS, which is our core, which we've seen today. We've also so far enrolled about 7,000 students this year. And the registration, I think, has been strong. And also attributed this year, we made some changes in terms of we streamlined the fees to $10 you know, for all students per year. And the, the goal was this, to make it you know, more accessible for all. And because we want to reach uh, the community and ensure that you know they, they don't just come for tuition, right? because now we're offering more than just uh, tuition here. Yeah. <laughs> Lastly, um, we are also streamlining and integrating our mentoring programs under this Empowered umbrella. We are now putting more emphasis on Empowered MTS and also at IT. Um, but really, to put a nine-month mentoring program to enhance, you know, students' motivations to achieve their aspirations, and as I shared earlier, to help reach the networks. And um, I think what's also important is to um, provide guidance to our kids uh, in terms of their education choices, what kind of uh, careers they may want to go for, um, what kind of subjects they need to take.